This is where I leave you. Yeah. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review the film This Is Where I Leave You. So This Is Where I Leave You is directed by Sean Levy. This film stars Jason Bateman, Tina Fey, Jane Fonda, Adam Driver, Rose Byrne, Katherine Hahn, and more. You have a pretty big cast here. This film is about a dysfunctional family. Their father passes away and the final request from this father is that they all live together under the same house for one week, aka seven days. You see them come together, you see them deal with their other problems. So going into This Is Where I Leave You, I gotta say I was actually really interested in this film because it has a great cast. I like Sean Levy, I think he's a good director. And it's interesting because it's an R-rated film and Sean Levy isn't really one of those directors to direct R-rated films. He's really known for directing these PG rated or PG-13 rated movies. And so after seeing This Is Where I Leave You, I gotta say, it was a good movie. The performances from everyone here were really good. Jason Bateman was really good here. This is actually one of the best performances that he's ever given. He has that usual Jason Bateman humor you see in other films, but you also see the dramatic side to his character because of a situation that happens in the beginning of the film that really affects this character. Tina Fey was really great here. She looks really beautiful. She was charming whether she was trying to be funny or trying to be dramatic. I thought she pulled it off well. She had a lot of charisma on screen and I thought she just did a really good job with her character. Same goes to Adam Driver. He does really great here. I haven't seen a lot of work from this guy but I could already tell just by watching his role in this film that he's very talented and I look forward to seeing what more he could bring in the future. Jane Fonda also does a really good job as the mother who has breast implants and you could say her character is, is a little bit in like the horny side. And then Rose Byrne, she's not in here as much, but she was really good. And every time Rose Byrne appeared in this film, it honestly made me smile. I thought the storyline was very well told because it does a great job of making us care for each of these characters. The scenes with Jason Bateman and Rose Byrne, I thought they had really good chemistry. Like I said, every time I saw Rose Byrne in this movie, I would smile and when I saw the two of them together, even though they weren't quite together or any of that stuff, you know, it was just really nice to see in the film. It was pretty sweet. I also thought the film does a really good job of giving you a message about how life isn't perfect, but we gotta be appreciative of what we have in life. So I really liked how the film set up that overall message. I also gotta say that I loved the ending. The ending wasn't really your cliche, typical ending. It was the type of ending that felt very profound and it gives you a sense of where life is going next for these characters and, and just without spoiling anything the ending just felt satisfying as I just said profound and made me smile and there were some very funny moments with this film now when it gets dramatic I was definitely more interested in the dramatic moments but when the film makes me laugh in some moments mainly with the second half it does a really good job of doing that now my only flaws with this film is that I thought Katherine Hahn was pointless in this film. I didn't think she needed to be here. Every time she appeared, I, I thought to myself, what was the point? She felt wasted. I didn't see any point to her character, nor did she really fit the overall story in my opinion. I thought the first half of the film was very lackluster in terms of like making you laugh. It just tries too hard and like the dialogue they would say felt really really out of place. It was like too crude, especially with Jane Fonda's character. Her character says a lot of like very crude and unnecessary type of dialogue that just makes me cringe. And like I said, I just didn't laugh actually in the first half. I chuckled a few times. I laughed maybe once 
in the first half, but it wasn't until the second half where I actually got more laughs. And when, when it does come to the second half, the humor for the most part was very well done in my opinion. Also, Dax Shepard, without spoiling anything about his character, he was only in this film for two scenes. Only two scenes with Dax Shepard. His character was only in this film to start off the overall plot. I did feel like the beginning was very rushed. And as much as I did love watching the Jason Bateman Rose Byrne scenes because the two of them it was cute to see them together and I trust and trust me I really love those scenes. I felt like that overall storyline didn't add anything to the movie. There wasn't enough of it and how their side of the storyline ended for me made me a little bit dissatisfied. But overall I thought This Is Where I Leave You was a good movie. It has some funny moments. The dramatic moments were more interesting to me though. The ending was really great. The cast does a really great job. So This Is Where I Leave You is going to get 3 out of 4 stars. I am 22 Tiger Dude! Don't forget that I will always have TAGA POWER!